Jacob and leadership at the Humane Society of Southern Arizona as the fate of hundreds of pets are up in the air. These actions not only undermine the integrity of this organization, but also threaten to undermine the integrity of animal rescues on a much larger scale. Thursday, the board in Tucson announcing the CEO was fired and they accepted the COO's resignation after they say they authorized giving 318 small animals to an unlicensed rescue here in Maricopa County. We acknowledge that mistakes were made. We are committed to rectifying these mistakes, regaining the community's trust. This incident began over the summer when the San Diego Humane Society reached out to the HSSA, who agreed to take in the animals in August on the premise these animals would be adopted out. We transported uh, hamsters, guinea pigs, rabbits, and rats. Nina Thompson with the San Diego Humane Society tells us they began getting concerned in September when they heard no updates on how these animals they sent were doing. You would think that if more than 300 pets came into a community, there would be some sort of social media or communication or adoption uh, profiles available of these pets, but nothing, there was nothing. The HSSA board began their own investigation in September. They found the CEO gave the animals to a private group in Maricopa County without consulting the board. HSSA was able to contact the Valley Group and get 64 of the animals back, but were told the other 254 animals were adopted out and we're also told that there was no records of where they went. We reached out to the group here in the valley to try and figure out where these animals went, but we kept getting their voicemail. To leave a callback number, press 5. When we showed up to an address tied to the group, I heard someone inside the home, but no one answered the door. The San Diego Humane Society says they just want to know if their furry friends are okay. Our staff raised some of these animals. It's been very emotional for all of us. The San Diego Humane Society says that they do not blame the staff of HSSA, and while they keep searching for answers, they're asking for anyone who may have adopted one of these small animals that you're seeing in this video to reach out to them. They just want to make sure that these animals are safe.